Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk to you about social distancing and why it's so important to stop the spread of the virus. And that's what flattening the curve means. It's to stop the virus spreading too fast so the hospitals will be able to cope. So I'm going to use the first example. My first example is someone who's not social distancing. And this one person infects four people. And you might hear or. Or four. Or four means four people infected by one person. So let's start. Day one, this guy gets sick. Let's call him Mr. Sneezy. Now, Mr. Sneezy doesn't agree with social distancing, goes out and about and spreads it to four people. So by day two, we have four more people plus Mr. Sneezy, and now we have five people with the virus. These guys don't believe in social distancing either. So they go out and about and they spread it to four people each. So by day three, we have another 16 people with it and a running total of 21. So these 16 go out and about and they spread it to four people each. And now we have another 64 people in it. So on day four, we add in the 64 and we have a running total of 85. No, yeah, not too bad. But the problem comes day five. Those 64 people spread it to four people each. And now we've another 256 people. After five days, we've a running total of 341. Now, I ran out of room and I ran out of patience making my little graph. But you can imagine what can happen on day six, day seven, day eight. We don't want that to happen. The hospitals couldn't cope. So this is how we're going to flatten the curve. Let's look what social distancing does. Now we've got one person and they're going to infect two people. Day one, he's sick. He keeps the rules, so he only infects two people. And now, day two, we have a running total of three. They infect two people each. So there's four more people, we add them in, and now we've got a running total of seven on day three. Day four, they infect two people each, so now we've eight more people. So on day four, we add them in, and we've a running total of 15. Day five, they infect two more each, and there's 16 more people, which we add in, and after day five, we have a running total of 31. Now let's look back at the first graph. One person infects four people. Most people, if you ask them quickly, if you said one person infects four people, there'll be 341 after the end of five days. If they were infected two people, well, most people quickly would say, ah, around half that, around 170. Well, you'd be wrong, because when we look, this is 341 after five days. This is only 31, 10 times left, less. So that's why we've been asked to stay at home, to keep the rules, to stop the spread of the virus. And it's very important. And we're all getting fed up and we all want to go out and we're all tempted not to keep the rules. But every time you feel tempted, Think of the numbers and stay home, stay safe and I hope to see you all again in September when we continue on as normal, when this chaos passes. Bye now.